Hello Plastic Model Builders, welcome back again. This is the B-17G Flying Fortress. We are doing a lot of guns and a lot of glass in this episode. So, we are going to start off by building this top turret on the plane. Uh, remember, if you didn't see the last video, go back and check it out. That way you don't miss what we did. So, you're seeing we're cutting out all these parts, putting a little bit of glue. Yes, I'm using regular pl plastic cement, liquid cement on this. People say it will stain the glass. Not always if you let it breathe. As you see in here, I'm letting it breathe. Plenty of air flow circulation. Anyway, we put on that little base there. It holds the gun. You see the gun fits right in there. Just like that. Make sure it moves up and down freely because it's a tight fit. Just like that. You see how it fits in there? We now have to put the base onto this, which holds the gun in place and keeps it from falling out. So you got two little notches there, and you see those notches, small ones, right there on this base. Put that in, make sure all your paint is scraped away, that way you get a good bond with your cement. So you see all that paint I've got on there? You're going to have to take that off. You know, things you learn when you make this model, if you've never made it before, it's a tight fit to make actually make this thing swivel where it's supposed to go, so you kind of got to work on it. And this is the base that the person would stand on, so put that in. So now we've got our mounts that we have to make for the guns. Uh, each one's a little different, so pay attention. I hope I got them right in this because I kind of detached some stuff when I shouldn't have. So I had to guess with some of it. So just kind of use this as a guideline of how they go together. See me putting each one on there. Remember, they don't all go together like this, except for this one because this one goes into the mount for the a window gun in which it has to go like this. All the other ones, they actually get mounted in with the glass. So pay attention for that. That's also coming up later on in this video. All right, so that gun is made. Clearly that one is going to go on the top of the plane. So this is another one. You already see I've got the mount on one part, putting that into the glass. So we're gonna let that sit as that part dries. So this is the top turret I'm talking about. It's got little squares that it's supposed to fit inside doesn't fit so you've got to make it fit got to do a little bit of filing make sure you get all your stuff out of there so now we are going to apply a weather wash yes that's right we are doing a weather wash so this is my little wash that I've made it's a black with some turpentine mix uh, it kind of interacts a little bit with the uh, revive it that I use but as you see it makes things look dirty like Stuff is just going right over those wings. This is the front of the airplane. Getting that a little dirty as well. I didn't dirty up the windows. Uh, but the windows did come out kind of funny. And you'll see why later on. Because remember we painted this with a different type of paint. And it interacted with the windows. Even though they are covered a little bit. I didn't quite cover them properly. Anyway you see me going over this with the paper towel. Just making it look like this plane has been flown through some stuff. Why? Because it's been in war. So naturally it's going to look smoky and Lord knows what else happened with this aircraft. So you see it there, just some spots. El Lobo 2, getting the front gun. And you see I'm doing a little bit of a thicker coat on the bottom. And that would represent a bunch of the exhaust that would travel on this plane in that direction. Uh, you can see other photos of this plane in the air and it does look like those tail fins, the stabilizers, they were a little bit darker than others just due to that exhaust. So we're trying to replicate that here. And I think I did a fairly decent job of doing that. Looks dark, you see the streaks on there. That's the goal we're going for. This is around the turbo, if you want to call it a turbo. Some call it other things, but we're going, some call it superchargers, some call it turbos. Just depends on what you want to do. So we're giving it two coats of oil slick here. Why I put the oil slick on this side, I don't know. Kind of inexperienced with the model. I know how to do it for next time. I've got two others that I can do. So we'll make those look pretty for some model making madness. So here we are, of course, weathering the underside of the wings where the wheels are. Going to put a little thicker coat here and then do our best to make it look like better exhaust as soon as we're done weathering the landing gear. Just a light touch of dirt that I'm putting on there. Here we go. Get the wheel hub. Got to make it look good. So this is what I'm doing with this Q-tip, kind of feathering this out a little bit. 
making it look a little like it just kind of hits it in random spots. That way it's not a hard line. Instead, it's a soft edge. And I think I did a decent job at doing that. And you see this one looks kind of like that as well. And that's what that will look like. So we let that gun mount dry and you see the little prongs there. This fits in carefully. Put a little bit of glue on these, not a lot. And then you slide in the top, paying attention to the number. Make sure you have the right number that goes on with that. It's specific. Let that dry and we'll put these in a little bit later once that is fully dry. So here's a top antenna mast. Has a bunch of flashing on it for me and a seam line. Got to get rid of that. Uh, we're gonna let that sit and here I am getting all the paint off of the edge of that turret. Be careful when you cut this out. My nippers got, as you can see there, part of that antenna mast. It got used anyway, just filed that down. It's a little hole, and you can see looking at this, how the seams don't quite line up because see those two little, whatever pumps those are, it's not exactly perfect. Anyway, got our glue in there, and that's what this should look like. Here's the football antenna. I left the seams on that because I already painted it. Didn't feel like dealing with it. I get lazy sometimes, I know. But I know the videos help you see what needs to be fixed and what doesn't. So there really isn't a spot for this. You kind of just have to create one and assume that it goes right there, just off to the side of that plane. Not exactly in the middle. And there it is. So take off my little liquid mask here that I have. It wasn't such a bad idea putting that on. Anyway, that's off. Clip away our rear gun. You should scrape away the paint on this. That way you get a good bond. Put that in. Perfect. So we're going to spray one more sealer coat on this to seal everything in. And then we can start putting in a lot of windows and more windows with guns. So I think this plane turned out great, honestly. And that is the left wing. Yes. Look off to your left. That would be it. And the underside of it, of course. I am happy with how this turned out. So here's some landing lights, the glass. Put that in there. You can paint the inside of that to replicate a light. See, I haven't quite yet figured out how to put in glass windows. I have really thick glue. Thin it down with some water. It will flow in there nicely and hopefully you get the bond you want. You can see those pinstripings that I did. If you remember, those were in the last video. If you didn't see it, remember, go back and watch it. And don't forget to watch all of this. You don't want to miss stuff. So, of course, there's small little edges that need a little bit of filing down to make sure these parts fit. You will figure that out because, as you know, in this hobby, always check your fit first. So let's get our masking tape out of here. And we are going to put in some bubble glass and some other glass. So there's the bubble glass. And how I did this, I turned my plane upside down. I got my glue around the outside edge of this because that was the only way I knew how at the time. I will still go with the upside down look, but I know how to glue it in a little better. So you get that, press it in, get some glue in there, and that will be done just like that. There we go, close up. That is what it looks like on the inside. Yes, I know I have a lot of white glue on there. This is for that top piece of glass that they will look out of. And there it fits in perfectly turn your plane upside down one more time we are going to put in this gun sight that is just above the other gun sight you see it right there the northern sight kind of work at this because I did not put that in when I did the plane because I wanted to wait till later like the directions called for to do it then so take off my liquid mask Remember in the last video I had a bunch of issues and you will see clearly it does the same thing here. Why well, I didn't have enough liquid mask on there. So it bled through. I did my best. This is how my final version of this plane will be. I'm not really going to try and fix that because it would be a royal pain. And this will show you what kind of mistakes not to make. And that's the important thing is learning. So there's the top. We're going to put in the front windshield. Uh, I remember it called to do this a little earlier. I was paranoid about putting that in, so I masked all that off. I like how it turned out, with the exception of 
the paint, of course. It, you know how this goes. So anyway, you have to kind of push this in, lift up that top. It's got little end caps, I guess you could call them, that will allow this to stay put. Once you get that jammed in there, you'll see it pop in place. Just like that, watch this. There it is, pushed in. Put in the top turret, test it, make sure it fits. If it fits and swivels, you're good. If it doesn't, you might have to pull it back out and test it again. And once it's in, it's kind of in. So this is the rear glass that we're going to put in for the back gunner. Just put a little bit of glue there. We have it all around the other edges. It'll look good, slides right in. Like how it turned out there too. Fairly easy to do this plane. But you can see the difference in color, how that paint that I used ate it. So here are the side guns. We have two of these to do. Again, glue all the way around the edge. Make sure you have the orientation of the gun in the proper spot. This is upside down, by the way. Same with this. So make sure you put it in the correct way and that you have it in the right way. I have them in the right way. I'm just saying the viewpoint is upside down. So here's the ball turret. Carefully put this in, not a lot of room to work with. Snaps in place. And look at that. Rotates and moves up and down. We did a good job. The wings, you see they're notched. Put them in, pull them forward. Very simple. You can glue them on or not. Many people choose to just leave them off uh, or not glued in. It, it's a personal preference on how you want the plane to lay. If you feel that it might affect it later on down the road, then glue them in. So here we are giving one last filing for this window right here. We are going to put this in, make that look pretty. Yes, we know how it goes. Now put the gun through the glass. It's a little notched and then there's a notch down there. By the way, mine did fall in eventually over time, so I'm going to have to dig that out and possibly take that glass off. Anyway, we are going to put on this front canopy, and then that will be it for this build video. Afterwards, the next video is the reveal and my review of this plane. So, you know what that means. We are coming to the end of this. There you have it. Thank you for watching the whole video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And until next time, as usual, see ya.